Hi everybody. I'm back with some another video and um, in this video I wanted to give my perspective on basketball wise um concerning Evelyn Lozada and OG. I don't watch basketball why I have seen it a few times over the years. But I don't watch it, just like I don't watch Married to Medicine, but I've seen it over the years. But I am a Real Housewives of Atlanta fan. So, it's what I watch is. Mostly Eclipse because I don't, I don't have cable to see the shows and I don't choose to subscribe to Bravo, Bravo, to beauty shows, so... I go with the clips I see um, from other people, you know, clips Bravo put out or whatever. But anyway, I've been listening to the, um, these people, I saw the clips of what Evelyn did, and I've heard how, how Evelyn have treated people over the years, how she say things, and I think, from my perspective, just seeing the little bit of her that I did see, which is the first time I ever know anything about her. And OG. But this is what I see. Everybody. Uh, Shaq. Shaq comes on here. He didn't say who they want to fight. Because they left that out. But. From what I'm hearing other people saying. They want to fire OG. For basically defending herself. Like how Adolf is. Being attacked and accuse of things for defending themselves in a very professional way. Now, everybody is mad with OG because of how Evelyn act. Evelyn on the show, smacking on her butt, on her private area, like an AP heat. But she goes on Twitter and puts a eight emoji of OG. Now, my thing is, Evelyn is on here screaming, you ugly, you ugly, you ugly. Calling OG ugly. Nobody got a problem with that. I believe Evelyn called OG ugly because OG is dark skinned and beautiful. And she is the color. They're calling OG colorist when it's actually Evelyn with the color issue. And they're saying, um, Shawnee is colorist. And I'm not really getting a full understanding of why she's being called a, a colorist and bringing Shaq in. Like he could fire somebody so it's obvious who show it is. Shaq is the one that funding the show for his ex-wife or whatever. Which I think is a good thing. But for him to come on there and want to fire, and they're not saying who he want to fire. But everybody else chiming in, making it look like. They want to fire OG. And fire OG for what? Who run up crazy trying to attack somebody and got knocked down? Fell into the bushes. It wasn't OG. OG has every right to or not allow this woman to attack this woman and then get away with it like, they did, like uh, what I heard Masika family did to this other girl attack and beat this other woman up for... I guess because she said the wrong thing about Masika and this and that. So, Evelyn going to try to run up and do the same thing to Cece, who's always walking away, for what I understand. If people don't want to engage you in your violent behavior, they don't have to. Because people walking away and don't want to hear your craziness that you had, and apparently you are allowed to get away with, because you and Shani are friends, because... You and Shawnee X, Sh Shaq O'Neal are friends, close friends, talk to each other every day. So you get to do whatever you want, and then you come on here with this. Black people don't call each other monkey like that. Not in, not on social media. Now, in the black in the black culture, where we are, we've had black ones to call each other monkey. 
because the school teacher, when my child was in elementary school, teacher called her. She had a cute little old black monkey. It was it was a cute little monkey. And the teacher had the nerve to say she looked just like that black monkey. So you have black monkey, little black monkeys as toys, but nobody see themselves as a black monkey until somebody else calls them black monkeys. So it all went down or whatever. And we know how they always defend the ones who are attacking. The ones who refuse to be a, a victim. OG refused to be a victim. So why is it Shani, not Shani, why is it Evelyn Lozada, obviously not black? She's obviously not black even though she want to call herself Afro-Latina. I'm Afro-Latina. And who cares? Afro-Latina is not a word you for black. Afro is a hairstyle. I got a picture of me when I was 18 years old. I don't know where it comes from. Apparently one of my family members took it and my sister had it and I took a picture of the picture and I got it on my phone. I had a cutest little Afro back then. Fit my face, pouring my face perfectly. Now I'm gonna tell you this. Afro-Latina. What's Afro-Latina? A big bush Afro that African Americans ate us had back in the 60s and 70s. So, what does that mean? Afro-Latina. What is Afro-Latina? That's something the other culture come up with, which is the white and the non-black people and black people who identify with their culture even though because they wasn't either raised in a black culture or whatever. So, you get to get up there and call this dark-skinned beautiful woman, you ugly, you ugly, you ugly. Why is she ugly? Why are you calling her ugly? There's a reason, there's a motive behind calling OG ugly and there's a motive behind everybody not checking, oh, checking, not shiny, Checking what's her name, Lazada, for calling OG ugly. You want to overlook the fact that Evelyn calls OG ugly. You overlook that fact and say, Shani is a colorist. Everybody who got a problem with Evelyn is a colorist. And who are the people that's coming up complaining, yelling about, oh, y'all are colorists. Oh, we got to deal with this. Oh, we this. Who called us screaming about that? People who are not black. People who are light skin, non white. The non white people are screaming like Jason Lee for one. I'm like, dude, you screaming, defending Lazada? She doesn't get to call the dark-skinned woman ugly. And then gets mad when she say, well, your ex wanted me, so what does that call you? Oh, now you upset as if your ex would never date a dark-skinned woman. Lady, please. Your ex is dark-skinned. Therefore, she is dark-skinned. You are I don't know what you, you call yourself. You are Latina. You are not black. Not once did you let the word black come out of your mind that you, you say, I'm Afro-Latina. What the H is Afro-Latina? What is that? The way this world set, especially in America, you either black or you white. You either identify as black or you identify as white. You either the black culture or the white culture. That's how it is. And then you got all of these groups of people, a Latina, a la Mexican, a Puerto Rican, Nigerian, Jamaican, Ados, which is us now, black American, black people, Ados. Then you got black American, black immigrant, all the other races. But now, I'm defending the dark-skinned girl. 
Where does Evelyn get off screaming, you are ugly, you are ugly? What if a dark-skinned person gets up and starts calling all the light-skinned people, ugly, you ugly, you ugly? Oh, now we attacking dark-skinned people. Hey, I'm not going to sit back and take it no more. Now Evelyn wants to sue OG for calling her racist. You put a monkey on there. Said the woman, you put a monkey on there by the woman. You know you don't get on social media and put a monkey, call somebody a monkey, put a monkey emoji. You know better than that, Evelyn. But no, I'm a sue, you call me a racist, you call me. Stop calling people monkeys and nobody will call you a racist. You call a racist because you are a non-white person on it acting like an ape, beating on your um, private area, shaking it, throwing it at people who don't care. And OG just sit back laughing at you, but you're mad at OG because OG did not engage you and look like the fool you make or you look like a fool. You look like a fool forever. Now, now coming up on a very smart black woman, What's her name now? Um, Shiny. Say she, Shiny comes out. Oh, well, I'm not going to fire OG. Now you're talking about somebody getting fired. Shaq Thomas, somebody getting fired. Who's getting fired? Is it Evelyn? I think not. Is it OG? I don't know. But if you fire OG, then the ADOS needs to pull together. The black American ADOS need to pull together. Dark skinned women need to pull together. Just like all of these light skinned, non white people are pulling together. Oh, it's a coverage. Oh, we go through like You don't go through nothing. You don't go through nothing. You're just mad because you want the place of all the dark-skinned Americans. You want their place. And they are not moving out their seat for you. I'm sitting in this your seat. Like Coretta Scott says, I'm tired. I don't get off work. I'm not moving up out of my seat. Oh, we're going to need you to get up out that seat and let this young white person sit in their seat. And I says, dark-skinned women say, we are not getting up out of our seat for you. You want this seat, I suggest you come move me out of it. And see if I don't start flailing and kicking and get you up off of me. Which is what OG did. And you know they paid OG to do that. You know they gave her that part to do that. And now you're talking about you want to fire OG like you fire Phaedra. And know they gave Phaedra that information on candy. Come on now. But anyway, that's it for this video, and I will see you on the next video.